Good morning, friends, and it's great to join with you once again at the start of this new week. Now, long distance runners don't just focus on speed, but on endurance. They pace themselves so that as they approach the finish line, they're not completely spent, not completely exhausted, but have a little bit of effort in reserve to make one last push to win. Now the message translation of the Bible paraphrases Paul's words in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 26 and 27 like this. I'm running hard for the finish line, giving it everything I've got. I'm not going to get caught telling everyone else, then missing out myself. You see, for long distance runners, giving up is not an option, particularly if like me, when I go out running, I tend to run a loop, so I have to keep going, otherwise I, I'm still a long way from home. And so giving up is not an option, you see, for long distance runners, despite the difficulties and disappointments along the way. And when we set out to fulfil our God-given purpose in life, we need to give it everything we've got right to the end. We need to, to go for it, not forgetting that Jesus said in Luke chapter 12, verse 48, great gifts mean great responsibilities. It's one thing to be successful in the task assigned to us. It's another thing to handle the pressures that go along with it. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says, Jesus finished this race because he never lost sight of where he was headed. He could put up with anything. And having something great to look forward to enables us to endure the struggles that we face along the way. And God will expose us to opposition and criticism to strengthen our characters. That way, when greater blessings and responsibilities come, we will be able to handle them. But we need to have a passion to cross that finish line. And we must ask ourselves, am I willing to pay the price? When the pressure's on, are we willing to stand up like Nehemiah? Um, we can read about this in Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 3, when he rebuilt Jerusalem's walls. And like him, you know, are we willing to stand up and tell our opponents, my work is too important to stop? If we can answer yes, then let's fix our eyes on the goal and run to the finish line. So if you're able to today, why don't you go out for a run or perhaps a walk? And as you follow your route, ask God to increase your strength and endurance so you can run with him towards the goal that he's set for you. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let's finish by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.